Okay. So I'm a story lover, just like everyone out here. And so I start with that. Ramu and Rani were in love with each other and they decided to get married. Of course, to start a life, they need money. And so Ramu set out on a mission to earn. Please, can you help me? He heard a voice, but he couldn't find anyone. I'm here living in the street and I'm a ghost. Ghost? Ghost? I won't harm you. I won't harm you. I just need a help. Help? Yes. You know what? I was a great singer. Um, like any other artist, I had a bit of ego. I, I never shared whatever I learned with anyone. And for that, I was cursed to stay in the street forever and ever. And you know the worst part? I have to listen to this horrible music that comes from that temple. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh no, I can't live with this anymore. Please help me to get out of this place. Okay, I get that. But how can I trust a ghost? Oh please, I don't have any other choice. I can do one thing. Um, um, the king has a daughter. I'll go and possess her. Uh, you come and drive me off. The king will be very happy and he'll reward you. What do you say? And that sounded like a great idea to Ramu. And so Ramu decided to help the ghost and both of them reached the palace. The ghost was ready to possess his princess. The princess was happily walking in the garden. Oh, butterfly, butterfly, cute little ones, sweet little ones, na 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 na, na na na, na na na, na na na, na na na. And she fell down unconscious. News spread. The king was worried. The magicians came, the doctors came. Nothing happened. Ramu entered. Your majesty, I can cure your daughter. The desperate king just let Ramu into the princess chamber. Ramu went near the princess and spoke to the ghost inside the princess. Hey, my dear ghosty, bestie, I'm here. Now you can leave. And they high fight. And the ghost left the princess. The princess was cured. The king was happy and he rewarded Ramu. And Ramu was so happy, he decided to go back to meet his Rani, Rani, oh Rani, oh Rani, oh Rani. Ramu, stop! He came a soldier. Um, the princess is fine, but you know what? Um, some problem with the queen and the king wants you back. Ramu was shocked. He went to meet the queen and he understood it was the same ghost again. Oh, um, you were supposed to leave. Why are you here still? Uh, um, I'm not leaving this place. I can't go back to that horrible tree, you know. Not at all comfortable. This place, I love this. And I'm going to stay here forever and ever and ever. This is not fair. Huh? You did me a favor and I returned equal, equal. Go away. Do whatever you can. Okay? Ramu went to the king. Your majesty, 
you know what, um, this is a complicated issue and I need to uh, work on it and um, give me a couple of days, I'll come back with a cure. He returned back after two days with his head down. He went to the queen and spoke to the ghost. I have accepted my defeat to the king. I'm going away. But before I leave, I want to give you a gift. Oh boy, I like that. You know, that's a good decision. You can leave. And what's the gift? Please close your eyes so that I can give the gift. And the ghost closed his eyes. Ba -ba -ba -ba. No, he will be here playing this wonderful music for you forever and ever and ever. Oh no, I promise you I'll leave the queen. Leave the queen and trouble some others? No, I won't trouble anyone. I'll run away and he'll never come back. The ghost left the queen that day and he never returned after that. And like all lovely stories, Ramu and Rani lived happily ever after. Each life needs a proof. Each life needs a proof. Once we leave the roof, knowledge when it is shared with everyone. Knowledge when it is shared with everyone speaks for us after we leave. What we share speaks for us after we leave. This story is a dedication to all those generous souls who happily share their knowledge with others. And that story was an adaptation of the musical demon written by A.K. Ramanujam. Thanks so much to all of you for listening and special thanks to Eric for making this happen. Thank you. Thank you. One, <laughs> wonderful singing. Thank you. <laughs> A lot of fun. And uh, yeah, before I end this, uh, this story was um, worked on, beautified by Jiva. So she gave me inputs to, you know, render it the way it came out. Of course, I probably I didn't do a full justice to whatever she said, but to some extent, yes. Not at all. It is very pleasurable listening to you. It is Thank great. You. I loved your singing and I think that's your strength. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. Really enjoyed. Thanks. Ambu, uh, I love the fun aspect of the story. You know, you are going and catching people and then you can drive them away at will and make a deal with the ghost. <laughs> I love these, the, these stories where the supernatural and the human world mix and we can have fun with them. Lovely Ambu. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Ambu, again, uh, for a nice, beautiful treat. Like everyone said, uh, you were at your best. Thank you, Lavanya. Ambuja, I felt your face is very expressive, very nice, and you used very uh, nicely for all the expressions. Very flexible face and very nice telling. Nice story. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lena.